Well, tech may not be always synonymous with Walmart, but the retail giant is moving aggressively to change that with Suresh Kumar at the helm. As executive vice president and the company's first global technology officer, Kumar has been tasked with transforming the Walmart experience by driving innovation from the inside. And he's got 25 years of experience to pull from with prior stops at Google and Microsoft. And we are pleased to welcome in Suresh Kumar from Walmart headquarters today. Uh, Suresh, good to talk to you. Uh, you have been- Good to talk to you, Akiko. Thank you for uh, having me. Yeah, I mean, you've been in this position since 2019. So you're going on four years. You've built out a team of about 20,000 workers globally, tech specific. Earlier this year that you announced about 5,000 people you're adding to this team with hubs in places like Atlanta as well as Toronto. Where are you along in that journey? And what does that say about how Walmart sees tech driving its next chapter? Yeah, I am uh, leading a global team of wonderful technologists across the world, and we are building the next generation of retail the experiences for our customers, and we are building the tools and technologies that are completely transforming our business. Um, as you know, Walmart's purpose is really about saving money and helping people lead better lives. Technology is such a critical part uh, of delivering on this promise, and that's what we are uh, setting out to do, whether it is enabling the customer to be able to buy right in the middle of their social uh, feed when they get inspired, or having their products delivered all the way into the refrigerator, we are building the technology that enables all of this to happen. And we are building tools and, and uh, uh, capabilities that are completely transforming our business. Uh, retail is getting disrupted, and the role of technology really is to actually help Walmart be the retail leader in the disruption that's that's already starting to uh, to happen and we can see that in customer experiences we can see that in the way in which we use data to drive efficiencies uh, we can uh, see that uh, in the ways in which our associates are working in order to be able to serve our customers better all of this is part of the transformation that is enabled by technology and that's what me and the team are uh, are setting out to do. And we'll get into more of the specifics in just a bit, but I want to pull back because you've talked a lot about the transformations that have happened in retail. And you've said, look, they happen about every 20 years. I think a lot of our viewers are familiar with the most recent one, which I would argue is the push to e-commerce driven by your competitor, Amazon. But you say we are in the middle of another cycle. What does that look like? Yes, see every uh, industry goes through disruptive cycles. Typically, all of these things are actually driven by advances in technology. Like you mentioned, the last big disruption in, in retail was really uh, the introduction of e-commerce that was enabled by uh, the growth of internet. But since then, we have seen so many improvements in technology. We have got incredible computing power in the palm of our hands. We have mapped every single square inch uh, of the planet. Um, we have computers through deep learning that can recognize and understand natural language, and we have computers that uh, you know, can recognize objects. All of these things are coming together, and they are the fuel for the next round of disruption that we are already starting to see. We are starting to see that in the way in which customers uh, are finding, discovering, and getting inspired uh, for new products. We are seeing disruptions in terms of how people shop. We are seeing disruption in terms of how products get delivered to, uh, to, to the customers. Walmart is in a unique position because the true disruptors are those who are going to really be able to look at the entire, the whole customer experience. It's not just about online. It's not just about the stores. It's about making sure that the customer experience is a delightful experience from the time that they get inspired all the way to when the product gets delivered. It's not just only about reducing friction, it's about creating a delightful experience, and that is actually going to continue to, to get disrupted. Um, Walmart's, like I said, is the company that can 
take care of the entire or the whole customer experience. And the role of technology is to be able to enable that uh, in a way that only Walmart will be able to deliver. And so when we look at that and changing the shopping experience, number one, I mean, you've sort of taken a two-track approach. Number one, developing technology in-house, but also partnering with those like Adobe. Let's talk about the in-house part of it. How are you determining where to put your investments? How much of this is about driving efficiencies to improve the experience? How much of it is about the shopping experience itself? Absolutely. So uh, the way in which we look at our technology investments, largely there are three different things that, that we concentrate on. First, like you said, is really about the customer experience. We want to create absolutely delightful customer experiences, no matter how they shop and when they shop and, and where they shop. Great example is what we just rolled out, um, which is, you know, be your own model. Know, shopping for an outfit, we want to make it as fun as possible. When you're shopping for an outfit, you don't want to rely on some uh, model that, that we have chosen to see what the outfit actually uh, looks like. So this is a technology that, that we have used advanced machine learning so that we know how uh, the outfit will actually drape on your particular body. So you can be a lot more comfortable um, about uh, buying that particular outfit. It reduces friction, it makes it more delightful, and it increases trust. So those are one uh, area where we really are focused on, how to make shopping not just friction-free, but really delightful. The second area is really about enabling our 2.3 million associates to help serve our customers better, more efficiently, uh, so that they can focus on what they need to do best. Same types of advanced uh, technology can be used for, for our associates as well. One good example is what we call as Wispic. This is where our associates can use um, AR to be able to be guided in the back room to figure out what products they need to pick and put it in from the back room, bring it from the back room and restock it on our, uh, on our store. Makes it very, very efficient for them. They don't need to print out a list. Um, it, the system guides them. So they can focus yeah. a lot more on being efficient in what they do. The third area uh -huh. is really around transforming the business through automation by extracting insights out of the huge amount of scale and data that only Walmart has got to not just automate, but to optimize every part of our decision making, whether it is about how we uh, choose our assortments, yeah. that are local, that are customized for the market that we serve, all the way to how we price, how we mark down, mm -hmm. um, to how we optimize our supply chain in real time. All of these things uh, are enabled by the scale, the data that we have, mm -hmm. and our ability to reason over that using machine learning, using advanced, uh, uh, advanced models. Yeah. That really allows us to be able to reduce uh, the cost and really uh, go back to our purpose and, of saving people money. And, and Suresh, you just pointed on a, a key word that I'm thinking about when you're talking about all these products you're rolling out, which is the collection of data. I mean, that itself is such a, a big commodity for so many companies. Number one, it tells you what shopper behavior is going to be like. It allows you to sell ads online against some of that. I mean, how are you thinking about the commercialization of that as you integrate technology more and more into the Walmart experience? Yes, so the great thing about, about Walmart is that we serve our customers in a, what we talk about is the whole customer experience, right? So whether it is online, whether it's inside the stores, we serve our customers the way they want, where they want and how they want. And this basically means that we can get a lot more insights about what is the best way to be able to serve our customers. Um, this is, comes from both the whole customer experience nature as well as obviously the scale at which we operate. Um, what we are focused on is to take that data and turn it into insights that ultimately serve our customers better. Right? When we talk about uh, uh, when we talk about commercialization or when we talk about uh, uh, mm -hmm. about taking the data, ultimately we want to do two things. We want to be able to serve our customers 
in a much more personalized, much more, uh, uh, yeah. you know, in a much deeper way. And we want to create an ecosystem where not just Walmart, but all of our partners and all of our suppliers and all of the, uh, the ecosystem partners mm -hmm. also benefit from that. So that is what we are trying to, uh, to build over here um, so yeah. that it's, it's an open system. It's not mm -hmm. a walled garden. We want everybody to be able to participate and ultimately benefit the customer. Um, you are the global CTO. I can't let you go without asking you about crypto because Walmart did make some headlines uh, at the end of last year when you filed a number of key trademarks that appeared to point to the company's intentions to sell as well as market virtual goods. You've already got blockchain technology integrated into the system here. What's the role of crypto in Walmart's future? It's a great question. I think that there are three major areas of, uh, of disruption. Crypto falls in sort of the, the middle of it. I have talked before about the way in which customers are, are getting inspired and discovering products, that is changing. Um, and part of that is going to happen in the metaverse. Part of that is going to happen uh, you know, on live streams inside uh, your social media app. Um, so whether it is physical goods or virtual goods, they play a part in terms of what the customer wants. Crypto uh, will become an important part of how customers transact. Um, we want to make sure that if we make it as friction free for, for customers to be able to, to transact and to be able to buy mm -hmm. uh, and how they uh, are able to derive value out of it. Right? And it that is where uh, I think a lot of the disruption is going to start happening in terms of different payment methods, different payment uh, options. Um, the is, role is of crypto the... is going to continue to play a very important role in that. And obviously we want to, uh, to be there where the customer really needs us to be. The last part of it is yeah. how products get discovered, products get delivered. A um, lot of disruption going on over there, but mm -hmm. in, uh, uh, when you specifically talk about crypto, it is going to be about discovery of products, whether it is physical or, or uh, yeah. virtual inside mm -hmm. um, either the metaverse or uh, upfront and then how people transact. Okay, certainly a lot of good people are going to be now looking for an announcement potentially from Walmart, at least short, medium term. Uh, Suresh Kumar, global CTO for Walmart. Really appreciate your time today. Thank you.